All right, let's get a check of those latest coronavirus numbers across our first coast house. So we're talking locally. Since the pandemic began, we've had 30,000 total cases of coronavirus and sadly 233 people have now died because of it here just on the first coast. That is more than 700 new cases in the last 24 hours, 700 in a day. Uh, the place we always go back to phase two, the beginning of June, we were averaging 40 new cases per day. Now that moving average is at 1000. So certainly still ticking upwards. Let's look specifically now at Duval County. That's where more than half of our local cases are in total. Now more than 17,000 people have tested positive, but we got to look at how serious these cases are as well. So a daily look at hospitalizations because only the most serious end up in the hospital. So since the pandemic began, 523 people in Duval County have been hospitalized. This is again since the very beginning, but 200 of those have been just in the past month. On June 20th, we were seeing an average of fewer than five people uh, hospitalized per day. Now we're averaging right around 10 with this dotted line steadily, slowly, but steadily beginning to tick upward with hospitalizations. This is something we will continue to keep an eye on. Let's check out our other first coast counties though right now. Aside from Duval, St. John's is, has the second most cases. 2600 people have now tested positive, followed by Clay with 2100. Columbia County now has 1400 people who have tested positive since the beginning of all this. Now let's go to Southeast Georgia. Glenn County, which we just focused on in our learning curve with Leah. The most cases are there in all of our Southeast Georgia counties. 1900 people have tested positive, then followed by where with 896 Katie. 